He said, oh, it could be pro-Confederate guys. <laughs> he's right. He's right. Unk is cooking. Unk is cooking. He's right. I'm glad that he's like, he hasn't lost the sauce on this part. Yeah, I saw this clip. It's going viral all over the internet. Uh, Anna, it's it's sad. It's sad to see like what has become uh, of Anna Kasparian's commentary. I don't know why she's doing this. I think she like people will immediately say, "Oh, she's grifting." Oh, she's grifting. I think it's sadder if it's genuine. Like, and I think it's genuine. Like, I I think I think you she has like experienced uh, a lot of of uh, ideological shifts that started off with like I think homelessness and crime, like leaning into crime panic stuff, and then moving on to the trans panic stuff uh and now she's just like now she's just doing this thing like running defense for trump's fascism like that's crazy i am proud of my unk though for standing up for what he believes let's take a look at what this fascist. clip looks like because look if we're just gonna use fascist toward anyone we dislike all right then the word doesn't actually mean anything okay what do you want me to say Anna? <laughs> like if you cannot call trump a fascist there is no reason to use the word. We should not learn about fascism in school. We should not learn about genocides. We should not, le we should not learn about the Holocaust. We should not learn about like how we got to this point in history because like he, that's it. Like that he's a fascist. Like, what do you mean? This mother wants to do concentration camps, dude. What are you saying? Like, what are we doing? What are you saying? It doesn't make any sense. It genuinely does not make any sense. This is going to get clip chimped. No, dude. It's just like, if you don't consider Donald Trump to be a fascist, I don't know what to tell you. Like, what do you think is a fascist? Now, you want me to say wannabe dictator? Uh, sure, you can say uh, wannabe dictator, but I don't even think he wants to be a dictator. Of course he does. That's what you do when you lose an election and you go, oh, I got fake election. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God, I'm so unk pilled right now. So, of course, he does. Electors, <laughs> and, and I'd like to terminate the Constitution and bring out the tanks and use martial law against American citizens and shoot protesters. I mean, if that's not fascist, then I guess the word just shouldn't exist. But was he able to do those things? Oh, oh, dude, sorry. Excuse me, officer. Uh, I know that like I went into a bank with a gun, okay, and I said, put the money in the bag, please. And then they put the money in the bag, but then on the way out of the bank, I actually slipped on a banana peel and fell. Technically, I didn't extract all of the dollars out of the bank. I am not a bank robber. That's fine. Please do not call me a bank robber because... Guess what? I failed in robbing the bank. Like, what are we doing here? When it comes to the term fascist, like, if your entire worldview revolves around ultranationalist sentiments, like, and, and the abolition, the complete deportation of, like, an entire, like, tens of millions of people that are currently living on U.S. soil, like, that's it. That's Adolf Hitler. What are we doing? That's Adolf Hitler. That's it. He's literally saying he wants to use the military against the enemy from within. That is Adolf Hitler, okay? That does not make sense. It doesn't. Dude, I, this is why I'm like mad about the Democrats being like, uh, don't call Trump supporters trash. It's like, what are you saying? They're literally, they're doing Nazi rallies at the place where they did a Nazi rally in 1939. They are Nazis. They're saying Nazi things at the Nazi rally. What the Trump's no, his, his rhetoric is so, awful. Okay, if you don't want to be called fascist, stop saying fascist things. It's not that hard. Thank not you. Not that hard. Oh, here, let me have dinner with Nick Fuentes, who's a Nazi, Kanye, who's a Nazi. And let me say there's good people on the Nazi. He said, oh, it could be pro-Confederate guys. Might be guys who are pro-slavery. <laughs> he's right. He's right. Unk is cooking. Unk is cooking. He's right. I'm glad that he's like, he hasn't lost the sauce on this part. Because, you know, he's a little bit of a, of a, a crime guy, too. But goddamn, dude. That's why I'm writing Jank Uger on the ballot. <laughs> you were good, guys. Let me do all of these things. Let me say that immigrants are poisoning the blood of our nation, a Nazi term that is only used in the past by Nazis, and then say, I'm going to ban Muslims. I'm going to do this and this and this to all the other ethnic groups. And then go, oh, I can't believe you called me a fascist. No, he is a fascist. I'm very happy to call him a fascist. All right. Um, there. <laughs>
All right. All right, I'm not going to get back into it. Dude, oh, God. I love this man. That's my, that's Unk, man. That's Unk. He went hard. He went hard. I don't think Anna is pro fascist. I think she's just become like more of a, of a centrist with right leaning associations as time has continued due to a metric ton of criticism and feedback uh, and, and backlash that she has received from the left. It cooked, I think. A lot of people's brains get fried when they uh, divert even even a little bit from like whatever the leftist progressive position is, right? And most people don't have any way of like dealing with that with a normal in a normal fashion where they just like the moment that because they're getting. On. I know Anna. I've known Anna for twenty years. Okay, she got on her entire life by the right, like nonstop doxing, death threats threats all this shit, right so when you're doing that for like 25 years okay when you're doing that for 20 plus uh, years and you're constantly getting bullied and you feel like you know you can't even get support from the left right you can't even get like the support that you think you deserve in the left because you uh have a uh, uh, disagreements uh with uh, other people who are like prominently online extremely online on the left whatever it, it just like fries your brain where you're like, what the am I doing this for? And the difference is like, you have to be an incredibly stubborn, an incredibly stubborn person to, to just go, I don't give a what people say. I'm still going to care for the things I'm advocating for. I don't give a you know what I mean? And I think that, I think that like slowly but surely she got like crime pilled. Okay. And, and, and people were like very upset with her over that. And then she got like transphobia pilled a little bit with like the birthing person stuff. And I think it's just like basically fried her brain. Uh, and, and it's sad to see, but it happens, you know, can't imagine what a reasonable person would end up looking like to someone like that. Guys, I don't like the only reason why I'm saying all this is because like, I, I know, I know where she's coming from. Like, I know I don't agree with her and she has attacked me consistently throughout the years. And my response always is like, I hope she's doing all right. I hope she's doing all right. You know, we have our disagreements. It's, it is what it is. But like, you have to understand, she's in a very unique predicament, okay? Like, there are not that many independent uh, voices on the left, right? Uh, and, and this is what TYT was for a very long time when that space was incredibly lonely, okay? When that space was just lonely and... Uh, that's it. I think it like cooked her a little bit. I, I think it fried her a little bit. Um, and now and slowly but surely, I think what ends up happening is like slowly but surely, uh, you just you just let the, the reactionary part of your brain that believes certain nonsensical positions like take over. Hassan, you can't just call someone who's ultra nationalistic with a fascist ideology a Nazi. Come on. Those people are pretty bad. Yeah, exactly. It's just like so stupid. It's so stupid regarding her saying he hasn't even done any of the fascist stuff yet if there's one thing we know about trump is the is that he took the failed j6 insurrection in stride and decided to surround himself with people who would keep him more grounded and sensible so it will never happen again yeah i don't think i don't think the the second january 6 uh situation is likely due to the fact that it happened once and like we saw that there was deterrence you know to a certain degree but I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what will happen. Um, do you ever worry as you age, you'll turn slightly reactionary too? How do you avoid it? I don't know. I feel like I've, I, uh, I have, I've stayed solidly. Like I, I have, I have, uh, stayed my ground on these, uh, on the opinions that I hold, you know, regardless of the endless amounts of attacks. Um, Trump's message on Lebanon during my administration, we had peace in the Middle East and we will have peace again very soon. I'll fix the problems caused by Kamala Harris and Joe Biden. I want to see the Middle East turn into a real peace, real lasting peace, and we will get it done properly. So it doesn't repeat itself every five to 10 years. I will preserve the equal. This is, this is like catnip by the way, for, uh, like dummies. The way that he's presenting this is, is so perfect for the dumbest guy, you know, who will absolutely believe this. How did no one ever goes? You were already in office for four years. Why didn't you do so then? Um, because Americans have short-term memory loss and that benefits Donald Trump. <laughs> like they don't remember 
they don't remember what it was like when he was president. They only remember what it was like or what it is currently right now with uh, Joe Biden as president. That's a major problem in this election. Like that benefits Donald Trump quite spectacularly. In my opinion, we have this uh, capacity to feel nostalgic. Biden did say that. That's when they started saying it. The Kalama. What? Americans' brains were rotted immediately after COVID. That's why no one remembers shit. I think that's uh, that's uh, another reason too. I'm surprised no one made the point of how bad Trump did with COVID. U.S. is the worst, dude. Not only did we not talk about how bad Trump did with COVID, not only not only did not only did not only did people uh, forget about like how badly Trump COVID, but also but also Kamala Harris on stage literally outflanked Trump on the on the COVID regulations. And was like talking about how Trump COVID in the opposite direction, where he was like too restrictive. I think we have forgotten what the what the Kamala camp was, uh, what their what their perspective was overall. The new Anna Caspian tweet is even more brain dead. Okay, fine, I'll bite. Fascism requires a militarized uh, citizenry, conquest, imperialism, the elimination of our governing bodies, like Congress, and the notion that anyone who isn't part of a mass race should be massacred. Weird thing to label a guy who brags about not starting any new wars. He also passed criminal justice reform and personally pardoned black inmates who were serving life sentences for drug crimes who Obama was unwilling to pardon, but I'm the f stupid one, okay? Oh my God. Oh my God. Dude, what the f Donald Trump literally accelerated Obama's drone wars, okay? He, he literally increased the mass deportations. He was incredibly militant, said that the police deserve to have like more bandwidth, uh, deserve to have more bandwidth in terms of like brutalizing people also brutalized protesters across the board during the black lives matter protests that were happening all around the country she bl he black bag people what he what are we doing oh yeah he says he wants peace so i guess he's so i guess i'll take his word on that but also i won't take his word when he says he's going to be a dictator on day one i'm confused which of the words that Donald Trump is saying that I'm supposed to take seriously and not match up against his actions versus the words that I'm not supposed to take seriously and then also forget about his actions when he was in office? I will say this much. I think Kamala Harris not communicating that they are an anti-war party is genuinely bad, okay? Straight up, it's bad. It's not good at all. It's very, very bad. And luckily for the Democrats, Trump has not been able to effectively communicate that he is the peaceful dove this time around, okay?